Hey, glad you can make it, because today we are playing more of, uh, Coop Life. You'll notice the noise is gone. There are no more cows in here. Um, I've blocked off the old area that used to have all of the, uh, inventory and everything. Um... Same here. The only thing left is the entrance to the mine, which I still plan on using. Although I might dig a new mine elsewhere. But, there we go. We're kind of saying bye to our original hidey hole. Um, I'm going to have to move this sign elsewhere. And I got rid of that ugly um, steps. I threw down some treated wood scaffoldings, which also serve as a ladder. Do, 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 do. Still temporary until I decide what I want to do to actually get in here. Uh, I love this concrete. It lets me move very fast. All right, so I temporarily moved everything that was down there into here. Um, now, this is actually supposed to be for storage. So this will, um, and I might move it upstairs, but for right now, this is where it's at. I've got the three generators going. I've got all of the, um, forestry style machines attached to this. Moved the sink up there. I have all the other little things here. Maybe a trash can. Um, all of the cows. These are the fluid cows, I think, that were my extras. And these are the ones that were in the walls. So, they're all right there for now. Still have all, all the bees there. have all bees type stuff there. And I moved the processing of the ores to over here. Cow is here. Crafting table is here. Um, and then I did this. This took me a little while to figure out. But I did it. What is this here for? I don't even... Uh, that's right. I was using that to do stuff I needed for this. Okay. Um, Got a blast furnace going. Got some steel and some slag. You know what? Let's go... We have more iron. Where's... Which one's iron? That's aluminum. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more ingots and get that going. Dunk. Take out some steel. Take out the slag. We can put the steel. Let's see. Do I already have, have a place for that? No, I do not. So we'll just put it right there. Q. Steel has its own place now. We'll stick slag in here. All right. So, crude blast furnace. Just getting some steel going because I really want to get into immersive engineering and because I needed some steel for a couple of things. Um, we have a well, magnet. That's the issue. Forgot I had my magnet back on. Dunk. Okay. So this is a, a, a contraption. <laughs> this is an automation of the Coke oven. So we have this. This is coal. All right. Right now, there's nothing in it. But you put coal in here. It goes into the hopper, which goes through this. Let's see. Up this conveyor belt right here which goes, yeah, 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 stop it. So I can throw those up there, which goes onto these vertical conveyor belts, which then go onto this one that goes around and around and around. And you'll see the dropping conveyor belt that actually drops them into the Coke oven. And then it goes up, up again, and into this wooden storage crate which then gets dropped through the hopper back onto here 
and it goes around and around. Why is that just sitting there? It shouldn't be just sitting there. That was weird. This has been working perfectly for quite some time, so that was just odd. Um, so it goes up there and gets dropped back. And it goes around and around and around. I think it's kind of cool to look at. There's not too many entities on the ground because this it only goes around for a little bit. And then once it goes through the Coke oven, you'll see down there, there's another hopper at the end of that one. And that leads up and into do, 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 this drawer, which contains all of the cold Coke. Now, I did have to kind of quote unquote cheat with this system because these fluid pipes work well. I, I want to stick to immersive engineering. I could not get the pump to work for the life of me. So I ended up using the thermal dynamics um, fluid pump or fluid ducts to pull the creosote out of here. So it goes through this fluid pipe from immersive engineering and goes into this fluid tank, multi-block structure. Got things labeled in, in certain ways, like the drawers have the pictures, and then this says creosote oil. And see, not even close to being full. Let's see, does it... That only works with a bucket. Do I have one on me? Yes, I do. Let's see, now we can see. It's got 68 buckets of the creosote oil in there so far. I moved the creosote oil that I also had elsewhere into there. Um, so yeah, that is now my automated cold coke with creosote oil. Uh, characters. Um, found some more carrot juice. Oh, I'm still getting rid of that stuff. So today what I want to do is I want to switch this out. I, um, I was given... A suggestion on how to make this even better. So I'm going to start with cooking for blockheads today. Yeesh. One of the first things I need is a book. So we're going to go over here. We're going to grab us a book using the parts that I already had in there. Now I should, if I'm correct, let's see, what else do I need? I'm going to need actual logs and then some black hardened clay. Okay, we can do that. Let's see. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's cook that. We can just do that over here in the redstone furnace. Dunk. All right, um, let's see. Do I have any black? I have the black lotus. No. Which should work. Comes black dye. How uh, many are we at? We're at four at the moment. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to need some logs. So let's just grab a whole bunch. And this thing's probably going to fill up with even more stuff I can make. Mm. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And let's see. Cook. We can make a spice rack. That's kind of cool. Alright. Come over here. We got our eight. Which should be able to become the black relatively simply. So type in cook. And we can make... No. I want to make the cooking table. How come I can't make the cooking table? Oh. I need to smelt the book first. Do, 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 do. That's my fault. Book gets smelted. Can't do that in a crafting table. So it needs to know this. Boink. Alright. Now, this, plus the things in my inventory, should be able to make us a cooking for blockheads book that is necessary for that. Which means, if I type in cook... The actual cooking table should be available to us. And it is. Boom. Done. Got the black hardened clay. The crafting table for school. Alright. So we're going to put... We're, I'm going to start... 
cooking for blockheads over here for right now. Dunk. Let's just throw that down. Give me back my torches. Okay. Now we've got the cooking table. We need to put items in it. So let's see. We got cook. I want two tool racks and a kitchen counter. Yeah, we can do that. Boom. Then we're gonna put the tool racks here and here. Voila. All right, those will hold some of the items from Pam's for making things. Um, I also need a milk jar. I need a milk jar. So we're going to make a milk jar. We need a bucket of milk, we need some planks, and we need some glass. So let's get the glass. Let's get... Um, should have a bunch of buckets in here. So we'll get a bucket of milk. There we go. And let's get, didn't I get some logs? Yeah, I've already got the logs. Okay. So if I type in, there we go, milk jar. Blink, milk jar. Now, something else we need to do with this. Um. Let me go grab a couple of it's good enough for now. I'm also going to want maybe some more fences. Let's make some fence. Um fence. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Uh, let's see, we also want a animal net. I am going to pick up this cow. We got the cow, yay. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this milk jar. We're gonna stick it right there. Then we are going to place the fence right here, here, yeah. There, there. Then we are going to place the cow on top of that. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab us an anvil. And we're gonna drop that right here. Voila. Get my anvil back. And look at this, we have a cow in a jar, which is slowly making milk. Dum -da -da -dum. And let's see, uh, let me go ahead and break that. Cause we are going to put this, wait, I made spice racks. I didn't want to make spice racks. Y'all were probably yelling at the screen too, weren't you? Yeah, I know what it is. I, I understand. We're going to stick the cow in a jar right there. All right. Cook. I want tool rack. And then another tool rack. There we go. Now I can place those like that. All right, so this is going to continuously provide milk up to eight buckets worth to use in any of these recipes. All right, so now I should be able to come over here. Let's grab the pot, the mixing bowl, the milk. Let's see. Um pot can go we want let's 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 make an oven so we need iron black stained glass and a furnace okay we've got this we've got the glass um let's get a stack of those and that should be enough for it to show up yep it's right there oven we can get an oven and then we can get two fridges one 
oven. I'm just going to do the full set here. So we got an oven and two fridges. Now this is a multi, whoops. When I say this, I mean, ah, that was a mistake. Um, oh, okay. Like where'd the other one go? When I say this, I mean this entire thing is multi-block structure. As long as one piece is touching to another, then all of this stuff is available. All right, if we look at the oven, we can stick our pot here. We can stick our, let's see, the mixing bowl would be a tool. So we put the mixing bowl right there. We're going to stick our cream or our fresh milk that we have at the moment in there. Now we can make heavy cream and fresh milk. I like it. Um, now we just need carrots. Let's take a pile of carrots. We're going to stick our carrots in the fridge. Now, if we look in here, we've got stock. Heavy cream, this. Um, how do we make the... Let's see. If I make a whole bunch of heavy creams, do I have to put those in there? I thought it would. No? Okay. So, what feel something? I feel like I'm missing something. Let's see. What is the recipe for carrot soup? Pot, we've got. Carrots, we've got. The heavy cream, we've got. The stock, we've got. Does this need to have, hmm, let's just get a little bit of coal to stick in here. All right, why? See, we've got our heavy cream. Let's make some stock. Okay. So we've got to make the stock. I'm going to put the stock in the fridge. And then we can make our carrot soup. There we go. But it stops. Okay, so this is not as easy as I was being told. I thought I'd just be able to put all of the ingredients in there and go. But this is not doing that. Hmm. You know, kind of like the way the crafting four works. I thought it could do that. So there must be something it's not liking. I mean, the mixing bowl is there. And it takes the mixing bowl to make heavy cream, so it's able to do that. I don't know. I'll put a bunch of stock in there. I'll put a bunch of heavy cream in there. And then it says we can make the carrot soup. Okay. All right. That takes a couple of extra steps. However, it is still cool. I like it. Let's see, sort by, sort by name. Select an item on the right to see its recipe. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is cooking for blockheads, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there are some more tools I can make from Pam's Harvest Craft that I can add to this. And these counters hold things. The oven holds things. And that is the main recipe creator there. All right, so we have seen the automated cold coke. We've seen the cooking for blockheads stuff. Not all of it. I mean, there's a toaster, which means I'd probably want another kitchen counter. Um, there is a sink, which you already know about because we used it over here. It provides water for anything that needs water in its recipes. Let's see. Don't need this anymore because if nothing else, even if I... 
end up not liking the cooking for blockheads thing for making stuff, which I know I will not probably end up using it for automating um, power. I do know that I can at least use this to keep my milk going. So, that makes sense to me. Milk. Because that is just, that's automatic. I can pump out of that, which is a good thing. Uh, all right. Or I should be able to pump out of that. I like it. It works. Now I feel like it's way far away because, yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's go put some stuff away. Doo -doo. Like that. Uh, let's put this back in here. Let's go ahead and put these up. Why not? Let's see. Spice rack, spice rack. We can put things on them later. Uh, one thing that I can do, though, is I can get, like, this food stuff out of my inventory over here. Uh, let's grab that sugar. Let's grab the wheat. How about the sugar cane? Do we have any other food stuff? I'm not going to count the bones. At the moment, we have some leeks and some zucchini, but I don't think I want to I'm turn those into seeds for right now. Dunk, dunk. Um, uranium ingots. Got a bunch of gardens and spice leaf. I think that needs to go. Yeah, that needs to become a seed also. Um, yeah, that works. And we're going to take all of the foodstuffs and place them in the fridge. And I think I can like, put sugar on the spice rack. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay. See, now I can make a bunch of things. I'm going to make cheese. Um, apple cider, baked things, of course, yeah, boiled eggs, I like it, alrighty, what was it, uh, yeah, this is it. this, and we're going to take our carrot soup, and just put it in here for now, um, yeah, now we can take all of this stuff. Put it in there. And pick up that one because we don't need it at the moment. I'm going to use those as kind of like project tables though. Because they work really well for that. Like this one over here. I had it making the things and stuff. I could make all of my immersive engineering stuff in here. And it makes it really really easy to make a bunch of these things. So, yeah, I like it. I can do still scaffolding now. That would be cool. All right. So, yep, I think that's going to be it for this episode. We did cooking for blockheads. And I showed off the automatic cold coke and creosote system that I created which has been just working well. I also created some of these lanterns to use in place of the torches. I think I'm going to start putting them around these things or I may just not worry about it since we're above Y level 60 and just put lights up for you know, lighting <laughs> not for spawn points yeah alright I think that will do, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I have some more of this I want to do. This is going to turn into a better blast furnace, and then I will automate it also. If you'd like to see me do that on camera, um, let me know in the comments, and I will do that 
on camera. I'll just get all of the parts and pieces and everything prepared for it. Um, yeah, I want to work towards all of this. There are ways in immersive engineering to auto do some auto crafting, but they take up some room. But I'm not too worried about that. I know it's a big mod. So I think I will be working towards automating this power system um, very soon. Um, so yeah. So I think next episode we'll see about automating this and then getting the carrots going, which I'm going to be using a, an item in immersive engineering called the garden cloche. So yeah, we'll do that. So, thanks in advance for the thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. I've been Saf. And you've been squished into a jar. <laughs>